Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to bring you guys some more Rogue Legacy 2. Uh, last time we played, you know, we checked out two more of the cool weapons and stuff like that. And this time, I have an interesting start. It's nothing new, we're gonna still be trying to find some of the new weapons and stuff like that, but we have a Poison Pirate build. Uh, so we're obviously a Poison, we can hit people, we can hold it down and shoot a uh, cannonball, uh, but also we start with the trait that just makes our weapon apply poison. Uh, we also have like this cool ability that applies a uh, spore burst that's new. We have our normal like pirate ship as well. So uh, it's actually very, very interesting. A very, very interesting uh, kind of build and class. And one thing I just want to check previously before we do is have I played as, I haven't played as the pirate in this challenge here. So we're going to actually just try to get a little bit of a, um, Let's see, we're going to uh, get a little bit of practice here. You deal more damage, okay, no, we don't want any of those. We're gonna have a little bit of practice here, um, and we're gonna do one of these challenges because this is how uh, we can actually get um, every five seconds, okay, uh, we just we take damage, gain three random relics and 30 bonus resolve per Mammon's bounty. So we just get three random relics, okay, whatever. Sounds good to me, sounds good to me. So we just got three random relics, I don't think they're very good. Uh, but that's okay. I got one that's gonna make us fly permanently, but take more damage. Uh, spills cast, uh, critical chance, okay. So what this is, is this is just a normal, uh, challenge kind of room here. And we're trying to do it because, uh, completing these challenges is how we actually are able to, uh, unlock some of the new subclasses like we had played previously. You know, like I said, uh, we had been, um, okay, being able to fly may actually be really good here. Oh gosh. Okay, well now we're taking damage. We take extra damage if we fly. Okay, you know what? Pirate ship. Oh. Pirate ship is shooting in the wrong way here. Pirate ship is shooting in the wrong way. Oh gosh, how do I use a pirate? How do I use a pirate that can fly? I don't I don't know how to use a pirate that can fly. I really don't. Okay. Okay, okay. We're just we're just trying to do this here. Oh gosh, okay. I don't know how to do poison pirate. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, but yeah. So, I, I, I'm trying to like focus on talking and playing at the same time because this is a hard challenge. Um, but yeah, some of the challenges that we had done previously off camera was how we were able to unlock the cool subclasses like the um, the demon tamer Ronin with the umbrella. Also the uh, the gunslinger with the blunderbuss, you know. Okay, here we go. Now we actually have a cannon here. That's just gonna keep firing, I suppose. Poison burst. But the fact that all of our abilities uh, do poison is kind of cool. And when we're in our actual run, we're not gonna have all of these abilities. Like the flying thing, that's just kind of for this challenge. But... Nice, so we got one of them. Now we just have Lamech. Which theoretically should be the easier one. Uh oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. Okay, being able to fly not half bad here. Oh, we are about to die though, so that's it's kind of problematic. Okay, we have our cannonball. That's just shooting him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. We did it. We did it. I don't know if it consider it was considered being pretty good. I don't know what our score is gonna be on that. What was it? Was it like we got C plus plus, but hey, that allowed us to get the trophy. <gasps> oh yo, we can now actually buy one of the new classes! We can buy one of the new classes! So we can turn duelists into Stygian sharpshooters. I kind of want to try that actually. The Stygian, so we can turn duelists into Stygian sharpshooters. Let's get a sniper. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now what we can do, screw the poison pirate. The poison pirate allowed us, <laughs> the poison pirate allowed us to unlock a new class here. And we're gonna actually try to go ahead and get that new class here by doing something where well, we're gonna just kind of cheese something a little bit here. We're gonna say goodbye, Mr. Poison Pirate. You did really good. Now it's time for you to die. 
Okay, so we found the duelist here. Um, and uh, so normally the duelist just has a saber, but we can now turn it into the triangulator. Can only be fired on the ground, low knockback, hold to aim, bolts, pierce, and ricochet, and bolts skill crit after the ricochet. We also have a gravity beam and we're clumsy, so we're just going to break anything we touch, which means it's going to be a little bit harder to uh, save things, but I think it's pretty decent. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's see. Do we already have armor here? We have drowned weapons. I'm going to go ahead and replace the drowned weapons with the obsidian weapons uh just because uh you know we've, we've we've put a lot of work in buying these obsidian gear and uh making sure that we can actually like hold on to it and stuff um but yeah so let's see how does this work so we have to be on the ground but we get to shoot oh that's pretty cool and it and honestly the duelist wasn't my favorite classes to begin with so being able to try out this new sniper class is actually pretty freaking cool i'm glad that we were able to use the poison pirate I was expecting to do the whole video with Poison Pirate, but obviously showing off the new content is uh, really important. As you can see, we're just breaking anything we pass. So how does this work? So we just are going to ricochet. Okay, we got like ricocheting. We have ricocheting kind of crossbow. So it obviously reminds me a lot of the um, the archer, you know, with the crossbow, and then you have the, um, the mechanical crossbow that I really like that you can only use when you're on the ground. Uh, it does not do a lot of damage, but I think it does more damage if we bounce, I think is what it said. So maybe we're supposed to try to be bouncing these here. Okay, yeah, those... Oh, jeez. Those do a lot more if we're bouncing. They don't do a ton of damage, but maybe we can, um, you know... Maybe we can get some uh, some relics that'll buff up our damage or something. Um, after being hit, get more invincibility. Okay, let's take this. Until pure... Okay, yeah, we're just going to take this. So if we take any damage, we're going to die... But if we kill 15 enemies, we're going to get rid of this relic, or uh, that uh, kind of bonus or whatever. Not bonus, debuff. Uh, and then we're going to earn 20% more gold and resources and stuff. So we just got to not take damage here. Shouldn't be too hard, I imagine. Unless we just take damage right there. What if we just took damage right there? Okay. So we just can't take damage. I'm not going to do a challenge room right yet. That, that would not be the smartest thing, I don't think. Also... <laughs> Okay, well, we're gonna pretend this didn't exist. Uh, this will not be a YouTube video, so that was some uh, some some exclusive stream content. Um, okay, we just gotta find a new one. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is where the video is actually gonna go. <laughs> hey, Edge Daddy. Uh, okay, so three, uh, two. Why do you die every time I join? Just gotta happen. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so do you do them? Okay, so we have our duelist here. So the duelist normally has a saber, um, but we're going to now use the uh, weapon that we just unlocked thanks to Mr. Poison Pirate, the Triangulator. It's a fabled weapon, can only be fired on the ground. Low knockback, hold to aim, bolts pierce and ricochet, bolts skill crit after a ricochet. We also have the rainbow ability, and mana costs and spell damage increased by 100%. So I'm wondering if we're going to even be able to use... Uh, the rainbow ability we are not even able to use our rainbow ability unfortunately now if we can find a way to get our mana up then it's gonna be really 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 good um but uh yeah uh, we're gonna we're gonna just try this we effectively don't have an, uh, a, a magic ability right now because it costs too much well, let's see so this weapon we fire it okay so it's gonna bounce and i guess it's gonna pierce as well so that's gonna be something that we're gonna be trying to do so let's see here so we have to be on the ground so it obviously reminds me a lot of the um, the ranger. Oh, that was pretty cool. It obviously reminds me a lot of the ranger with the ballista where you have to like stay on the ground to use it. But I don't know, maybe if you get some cool angles, you might be able to be pretty safe here, honestly, you know? Um, and we totally didn't uh, have a previous run here that we died like within like a minute that we uh, took out of the YouTube videos. So, you know, there totally was an exclusive Twitch content that only people watching live were able to see. And by that, I mean just me dying literally, like, in two seconds. Okay, this ability is pretty decent. It doesn't do a lot of damage here, but it seems okay. I mean, obviously, it's going to depend on the, the maps that we get and stuff like that, but you're able to do stuff, like, really far away. You're going to be able to do it at really weird angles. I mean, obviously, it seems like it, um... It, like, pierces, so if there were multiple enemies in a row and stuff like that, it'd be pretty good. What dies in this stream stays in the stream. It's okay. If we if we can lose no health, 
We get a fairy chest. Okay. Well, we put in we put in a good try. We put in a good try. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so look at that. It's hitting both enemies. So once we get to places where there's gonna be like an absurd amount of enemies. Okay, pretty cool. Also, we have an ability because we're the duelist, we have that like combat roll. Which just gives us iframes, which, uh, surprise, surprise, iframes are good. I don't feel like I've ever really utilized it as well as I should in this game. Um, but I know it's really good, so, you know, we need to try to utilize our iframes a bit better here. But I like, I like this ability. So, so far, we've tried out the, uh, the, the crow staff. Destroy all targets and lose no health. Okay, I think I can do that. Considering we have a ranged weapon here. Okay, there's, there's, okay, okay, nice. I think, I think our stuff even pierces these guys, or these obstacles here. Okay, we just gotta get one more. Nice, or oh, no, no, wait, no. Still gotta get one more for Mr. The very chest, okay. Okay, so now we just have to open up the chest and it's ours. Nice. Nice. Uh, increase armor's max block cap. It's pretty decent. Bunch of blood. Um, oh, I took damage there. I didn't even know what I was saying. I got so enthralled in that fairy chest thing there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we've tried. So the, the new update, obviously, which is why we've been playing, um, you know, Rogue Legacy 2 again, uh, even though we have entire let's play series of it of beating new game plus and new game plus one one because this is like probably my favorite roguelike that's come out this year and any excuse any excuse i can get to play the game more i'm gonna take um but also uh because all the new weapons and updates and stuff like that you know the last two videos we've been covering the new update oh there's another guy right there oh whoa 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 um, but I really have enjoyed the Lich Staff, which I believe is a uh, mage new ability, or mage new weapon. I didn't really enjoy the Demon Tamer umbrella. I did like the Blunderbuss, and I do like this. So, so far I like three out of the four new weapons, and I think six got added, or we can either call them weapons or subclasses, kind of this, it's both. Because it is a new weapon you could theoretically find on other classes if like you, you get a random you know, special perk that'll allow you to do that. Or, you know, you find it in a run. Okay, this is actually pretty decent, piercing through everything here. Hey, appreciate it. Oh, I didn't know there was an eye still here. But I think that this is the only thing that, the only, well, I can say the only weapon that pierces through enemies, but I think all the weapons technically pierce if you were to hit multiple people. I think this is just like the only projectile weapon that pierces. There's definitely value to it. It obviously makes it where it does not do as much damage as I would hope it would. But if we find, say, like a relic that could allow us to, um... If we find a relic that will, like, add poison to this or, like, burn to this, it's going to be really good. It is kind of satisfying to use, though. I do wish we had our rainbow ability, though. Also, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I guess this is... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jeez, what is going on down here? I mean, I signed up to go down here, but... Oh my gosh, we're about to die. Jeez. There's still something over there. Okay, we got it. Jeez. This took so much damage. We're already about to die just from that one room right there. Okay. Whew. Okay, okay, relic. So we need a really good damage relic. So uh, jumping in air enables flight. Nope, deal. Oh, deal 12% more damage to enemies far away. Well, surprise, surprise. We're dealing damage to enemies far away. So now we have this circle around us. Um, anything that we do damage to further away. Uh, it's pretty good. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That extra damage, pretty decent here so far. And we do have a lot of life steal, so um, that's going to help us as well. We get, what, like 10 HP each time or something? Get 
out of here. Hey, and a chicken leg. Okay. Um, there was one extra room over here. We're going to try to mess around with this. Oh, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that guy was huge. 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 I'm scared we were going to die there. Um, oh my god, there is something we still missed. We still missed something. Or a room at least. Okay, let's go get it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're already back to almost dying. It's like, this weapon's good, but it just... Against single targets, it does not do a lot of damage. And I don't think I can do a challenge room right now. I think we're going to need a little bit more HP than that. Okay, what's good about this is stuff can bounce back on this guy. Okay, we killed McRib. Okay, okay, we got a little bit of healing. Okay, let's go for it. I, I have a feeling that we'll be good at challenge rooms with this character. I mean, I would hope. Yikes. I say. Yeah, I say that. I'm like, yeah, I can hit multiple people, but I don't know. Oh my gosh. Th we do so little damage compared to some other stuff. Okay, go, 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 go. Fire, 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 fire. Get him away. Get him away. Okay, okay, we killed enough people, so our health is kind of regained a little bit here. That's a lot of people. A lot of people. Okay, just stay under this guy. Get up here. See, and now we're fine. It really just depends on the type of enemies and maps and stuff. Okay, more? Or, or are we done? Okay, the answer was more. Doc, oh my gosh. Okay, got the elite, and now these guys are melee, so we're fine. Whew! Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. So now we're going to just deal damage. Oh, we can't even... Oh, we can't increase our max HP because it would kill us. So I guess we just unfortunately have to take the heal. We do get a relic while below 50% health. Deal more spell and weapon damage. Um, I'm going to reroll this. Casting your talent gives me charge. Gain five rerolls. Nah. Randomize my weapon, spell, and talent. Deal 7% more damage. I don't know. I kind of like this, though. Every unique relic increases your damage by 4%. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take many more relics here. I'm not going to take anything. I need I need something that's going to give me, like, just straight-up fire damage. Because we're really only going to be able to take... If you look at the top left, we have 148% more resolve or whatever. So... We kind of have to... Make sure whatever we take is worth it, you know? Hey. Hey, Def Gun. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's gonna be a chest up here. Gonna be a chest up here. Okay, okay, ricochet! Ricochet him on him! <laughs> that was actually so satisfying. And then we could go. Okay, nice, nice. This is a very big... Why is this castle so weird? This castle is so weird. Yikes. Oh, that's what I mean. We did not do a lot of damage. But if we had some poison or something... Okay, here we go. Chance for a good relic here. Dashing creates a wave that destroys mid-sized projectiles. That's a good defensive one. Casting my talent or spell will fire a spell bolt. Jumping in air. Every point of resolve below 120. Oh, that got buffed. 
for every point of resolve below 25% deal ah, extra magic damage. I can't even, I already have 100% magic damage, but it's not like I can use it because um, my magic, like if I have a way to replace my magic ability, even though I love this ability, I, my prefer, ooh, my preference would be to get more mana somehow. Oh my gosh. Um, otherwise, yeah, because you get a new ability because we can't really do anything right now. Okay. Um, we want to scope out the rest of the castle. And then we'll go on to the next areas. And then right before we, like, finally, finally die is when we'll try to tackle the boss. Um... Okay, relics. Cast three spells to char- I can't cast spells. Critical damage from spells and weapons increased by 20%. Now that could actually be good because we always have skill crits after a ricochet. Oh, but that's a skill crit. Yeah, crit damage. Yeah, okay, you know what, sure. So if we ricochet, we're gonna do 20% more damage. If we can get a cool magic ability, I knew we can do that. Oh yeah, look at that. We do way more damage now on those ricochets. Just doing anything we can to increase this damage. So, cool weapon, though. Just trying to get more health. Um, okay, we've cleared all of that. We just need to go down here now. A couple more rooms, I think, in this area. And I believe this is a room that we're supposed to, like, throw a fireball at. And it would, like, unlock a, a curse, a new challenge. You know, we obviously talked about it a little bit earlier. Um, I think that's the correct way, so I'm going to go the wrong way. So I don't have to backtrack. Oh. Well, okay, then. Don't mind if I do. Okay, yep, see, that was right. So now we can just go to the right here. Oh, those crits, yeah. Crits a lot better now for the ricochets. Because, yeah, we obviously should be prioritizing doing ricochets if we can. chest over here. Ricochet! Ricochet! Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Can you get ricochets to hit this guy? There you go. Once you get the angle. Nice. Dude, we're already at 21,000 gold here. This is a good uh, gold, uh, gold run here so far. A little bit more health. Okay, so this is where the boss fight is. We're not going to be doing the boss fight just yet. Because we need more. Hi, cheesecake for chat. What? Okay, I feel like this weapon's going to do really good in this area. Just shoot it into the building. Oh, hello there. Oh yeah, I forgot you can shoot it right at the ground. Or at the ceiling. Oh. Party foul. Party foul. The fact that I have to be on the ground. I don't even know why I'm trying to kill these guys. I don't like this matters. I don't know why I'm trying so hard to kill him. There we go. Oh! These projectiles go forever. Wait, I actually want to know. I didn't see him. I don't know. Maybe they're they stay if you're on line of sight. Oh yeah, this, this weapon is insanely good in this area. 
I don't know how this is going to go against bosses, though. Because bosses are like single target guys, you know? Like, just like the crow staff. The crow staff was really, really good. Uh, for clearing waves. But not really for bosses. So, I, I, my guess is this is going to be kind of a similar weapon. Dang it. Okay, get some ricochets against Mr. Bubbly Fish. Oh, okay, let's just go inside here. Okay, let's do a challenge room. Oh, this is a very claustrophobic. Oh my gosh, this is a claustrophobic. Oh my. What is this challenge room? What? Is this where the run ends? Yeah, they definitely in the new update. You know, obviously they uh, made challenge rooms a lot harder. And you get better rewards. But like, this is, this is something else here. I have one HP. Don't even worry about it, guys. This is the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Dude, we went from alive. Well, okay, I was, that was obvious. I was gonna say we went from alive to dead in uh, in one room, but it was a challenge room, so that that makes sense. Um, let's see if we can find another duelist. I, I I'd be down to try to give it. Okay, here we go. So this is actually a very similar build, but we're blue. Uh, we also, okay, and we can actually use our ability. So I feel like this is gonna be a little bit better of a build here. Um, and let's see, what do we wanna upgrade? We can upgrade, let's try to upgrade damage. Yeah, just straight up upgrade damage actually. Damage, damage, damage. We upgraded damage three times. Um, okay, raise weapon crit damage. Okay, there we go. So we're blue. And now we can actually use our ability, our rainbow ability there. So this run may be able to be a little bit better. Be able to try out this weapon a lot a lot better. That was a claustrophobic challenge okay? for sure. And hey, uh, Loaf, Spider Queen, Queen. Uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. Okay, so obviously everything we just took is no more, though we did buff our damage, so. That's something. I need to try to shoot at their feet more. Because that's going to get the ricochets that we need. Ooh. It is really satisfying to use this weapon, though. I will say that. Mm. Yeah, no, we've been we've been on New Game Plus uh, two for a while. New game, New Game Plus two. It was like it took me about. I was talking with uh, one of my friends uh, the other day because they started playing Rogue Legacy uh, two, and um, where I was kind of talking about like how long it had taken me to beat like each of the you know games or versions or whatever. Uh, okay, see now we can actually use. Oh, now we can actually use our rainbow ability. But it, it probably took us to, to beat the first game. It had probably taken us about like 30 hours, I think. And then it probably took us about like 40 hours to beat New Game Plus 2. Um, but New Game Plus, or no, no, sorry, so to, to beat New Game Plus. So it took us about 30 hours to beat the game. Uh, it took us about probably, um, okay, how can we, how can we do something here? Uh, it took us about 10 hours to beat New Game Plus 1, and we have been on New Game Plus 2 for about 15 hours. And we still haven't even beat the first boss. So it was like, New, New Game Plus... And I think also they, like, made... They, they changed how somewhat New Game Pluses work in this game. I think making them harder or something with the update. I, I don't know exactly. 
I'm just here to play video games. Okay, let me get that. We're at full health now. Okay, ricochet, ricochet. Come on, give me some good ricochet damage. So, we were doing like 90 damage. Now we're doing like 99 damage with the three upgrades to our damage, so... I suppose it is, is definitely helping all of the buffs we got last time. Okay, yeah, shooting at their feet is the way to go. I don't know why I didn't really think about that previously. This is taking us a while to get used to these new weapons. But I'm telling you, if we can find a relic or something that gives us burn damage or poison damage... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Then, uh... It's gonna be really good. I was trying to kind of go left to right. Get out of here. Once again, if we had a fireball, I believe that's where we would get something. I'm going to save these, actually. I have full health. Okay, come on. Cool relic here. 25% chance of avoiding fatal blow. Defeated enemies have spore bursts. Now that I will take. That I will take. That's a rare relic. I will take that. So every time we kill someone, they're going to be like poisoning all over the place. Really, really good. Not good against single targets. More good against a lot of targets, which our build's kind of already good again. But it's going to make us like, well, I just watch this here. Oh, gosh. Actually, you know how much rainbow? Dude, see, that rainbow ability is crazy. And then they all spore burst and blow up. This is going to be good, uh, better for challenge rooms as well. Unless it was like that challenge room we had last time. That 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 last challenge room was a, was, was a bit rough. Not going to lie. Okay. I always try to go kind of do the castle left to right. That way I don't have to backtrack. I don't know if I've talked about that before. Oh, we're just in the path of the wizard guy. This definitely makes me like the duelist more, because I wasn't a big fan. Oh, I wasn't a big fan of the duelist. But I could see myself picking the duelist every now and then uh, with this weapon. I need, to, I need to get better at abusing the iframes of the roll. I haven't been good at that. Not as much... Oh, not as much range on this as I wish there was. Oh, there's a lot of rooms. Okay. Well, let's do the rooms left to right here. Oh, that was the boss room. Okay. So that actually made up two rooms. So once again, we're not fighting the boss. Okay, we just gotta make our way up here. There's a chest up here. Okay, can we ricochet? Come on, give me the angle right. There we go. I'm trying to get the ricochet. It's like, it's probably worth it sometimes to just like hit him normally. But I do need to just get good at being able to ricochet. Okay, a lot of money here. We're at 13,000 gold already. Um, okay, what's up here? Nothing. I mean, some breakables, but... Yeah, I need to... Yeah, oh my god, dude. Shooting underneath them. Or when it, like, bounces back. And hits them again. So, you like, one bullet hits them twice. Okay, 15k gold, pretty decent, pretty decent. Also, give me a second here. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. Just had to check something. Okay. 
doing good on health, though. A lot better than we were last time. Though, we did pretty good until we just died to that one that one challenge room. I mean, they, they ain't lying. They made challenging room, challenge rooms a lot harder, but they are just actually, like... It's, it's more of, ri of a risk-reward. Like, the fact that you get a guaranteed, uh, you know, stuff. Oh, okay. Take 376 damage. Increase our max HP by 151. Yes, please. Oh, what? There's a secret up there. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? There's just a secret fairy chest up there. What? It wasn't even marked on the map. That was just like a secret, secret, secret. What? Oh, it's another tree room? 421 damage. Raise our max HP by 151. So now we're really low. Oh, gosh. And we may die. But if we don't die, we'll have a lot of HP. Okay, just rainbow. That'll kill that guy, probably. I did not want to do- Oh! Fighting him. Okay, now we're going to break every breakable on the planet. Okay, I'm a bit... Okay, that was... That was a good chest for not very hard of a challenge. I guess I'm not complaining. Like... Whew! Okay, well... That was kind of crazy. The fact that we were able to increase our max HP that much. Uh, the problem is, is now we're really low. But as long, actually, okay, there's, there's, there might be some breakables down here. So let me go to this new area here. We're not gonna go down to this area, just kind of break the breakables down here. Nope, nothing, okay. Yes, yeah, so. Oh gosh! You got to die. Okay, chicken. Okay, we're just gonna. Oh, I don't have any mana. Oh! Okay, okay. I can do these guys. Oh, we just gotta. We gotta get our health back up. I dare you to come here. Okay. Um. Nice. Barely had that. Got some more food. We're kind of recovering here. Dude, that rainbow ability. That's why, like, not being able to use the rainbow ability last time was, was really rough. Once again, I need to be using my iframes more. Okay, I'm gonna go to this area, try to get some of the breakables here. Come on, give me give me some more food. Nah. No food, just gold. Obviously we don't want to go to this area here. Probably sometime next week. Um, okay, well, let me finish off the castle here. I'm blue, da da be da ba boo ba da ba boo ba da. Oh, okay, here we go. Relic, relic, relic. So we have this spore burst. Critical chance. Hitting an enemy will with your weapon will generate a damage aura around you. I think we actually go for that. Oh, actually, that's a new relic. We have to take it. That's the that's the rule. Gain 10% bonus health, weapon, and magic damage. Ooh, that's actually really good. That's that's why we're that's why we are legally obligated to take any new relic that we haven't seen from the new update. Because some of them are cool. That's a good one. That's a good consistent one. Just a little bit of everything. We probably got like 150 more max HP just from that, too. That was really good. 
Okay. Actually, let me look at the scars again. Can I see my scars? Are these... Okay, insights revolved. Found shrouded... Or no, these aren't the... No. The scars that we're looking for for the challenges. I don't think are there. Yeah, our 99 damage went up to 109 damage now. On non-ricochet. That's a cool relic. A little bit of everything. Stuff like that's always good. There we go. That Spore Burst is so good, too. Okay, I'm going to go and do the Rainbow ability. That Rainbow ability is one of my favorite. Okay, get out of here, man. Two chickens in a chest. Hello. I used my dodge roll. It's not well. I don't know where the guy is that's shooting. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's an elite. Okay, we're gonna worry about this here in a second. Ooh. 504 damage would increase our max HP. I am being so risky here. <gasps> Two food. Okay, okay. And you wanna know what we do? We go ahead and go rainbow. Dude, we have increased our max HP about four to five hundred this run here. I don't know, this could actually be a run where we like kill a boss or something. Out of here. Okay, we're just gonna rainbow. Dude, that rainbow ability is so good. Oh, we're still getting more food. I love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. I don't know. I, I still think this weapon's gonna be so bad against bosses. So, like, I'm still a bit concerned about that, but. We have 26k in gold. Oh, there was a chest down there. Ah! There we go. Just need an item that deals more damage the more HP you have. I don't know if a weapon like that or an item exists like that. That would obviously be very good. Because, yeah, we have... A lot of HP right now. And if we actually are successfully able... The fact that that pierces it does help me against stuff like that. Ah. Whatever. Um, Because it pierces and it hits those projectiles. Okay, turn that off. Wait, how am I supposed to do this? There we go. Turn it off. Nice. I love how opening up the doors uh, hurts enemies. Oh. Okay, puzzle challenge, no jumping, destroy all targets. Well, I think we can do that with this character. Wait, how am I supposed to get up there, though? Never mind. Yeah, we couldn't do it because we, uh... Dang. We were able to kill them all, but we weren't able to get up there without the jumping. Gotta just keep shooting right under their feet. 
no, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, now I can kill this guy. Okay, whatever. Rainbow, screw you. Screw you, Blobfish. We're... It looks like we're at low HP, but it's actually just the fact that we have 572 HP. And I still feel like there's a secret here, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna go look for some more health here before we go to the snow area. Oh, I think there's a little bit more of this area before the snow area. I could still use, like, another relic. I could probably take a little bit more relics than I'm used to because we have such a high max HP. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, 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 nope. Nope! I got thrown so far off from that guy. I'm trying to hit this. There we go, there we go. Just ricochet, ricochet. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Okay. I see how it is. Oh, that was... Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Elite. Go ahead and rainbow. We hit some other people there as well. Oh, my... He did 196 damage. Okay, we got him. That was a lot of damage he did, though. Definitely want to go... Oh, go get that chest down there. You ain't tricking me, chests. Or... Whatever these are. Traps. That was so satisfying. We're at 34,000 gold. Oh my! Was not expecting that dude to jump. Was not expecting that. Yeah, it looks like we're we're at low health, but we're just we're just vibing with 1800. I think that's the most max HP I've ever had. Even on like people like the barbarians and stuff. I feel may not be right, but I feel like it's right. Oh, thought I was going to kill him. Okay, what's in here? Okay, we could switch our weapon. We could go to the ballista, but I feel like the whole point of what we're doing is using the new weapon. So even though I think that would be good, we could honestly maybe do that right before we do the boss. But like, I know I want to test what this weapon's like against a boss, but I don't know. We could do that, but we wouldn't have the utility of some of the other stuff where it's like, you know, you can create platforms up in the sky like a ranger would normally have. I just really don't think this weapon is gonna be good against a boss. I, c I don't know how we dodged that. I am baffled at how we dodged that, actually. We would have taken a bunch of damage, too. That was an elite. Yeah, dude, the stor Spore Burst there is helping so much. Spore Burst is just so good. Um, we're gonna just, we're gonna just rainbow here. Kill them all. That rainbow ability is so good. Oh, it fell in the water, so we still got that, uh, that money. I was mainly just doing it to try to get some health. I wasn't gonna care if it was money. But it fell in the water, which means we got it. This is a very satisfying weapon to use. Okay, lose no health in the fairy challenge. Okay, we got this. We got this.
Easy. That one was easy. We're just still getting more runes, more of the blood. Cool. It's just crazy how much progression's in this game. I mean, we're on New Game Plus 2. There's like, what, 100 levels of New Game Plus? It's just always been this uh, Rogue Legacy strong suit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're gonna just rainbow you! The rainbows will maybe help us carry against uh, some of the bosses. Okay, well I already killed everybody. Well, not him. You know what? I don't even care. Like, I always feel like there's secrets here, but what are you gonna do? I need to like look up a guide or something at some point, but I don't know. Maybe he just plays a character with a fireball. That's the main one we're focusing on. Because I have like an IQ of a turtle, and I can't I can't remember more than one thing at once. It was a very insanely good run though so far. And even without consistent healing, just the, the 10 HP we're getting every time we kill an enemy. Okay, challenge room, a thousand health, I think we can do it. And this looks like it's a normal challenge room. Like not one with like that weird boss. Okay, 151 damage, whatever. If I get overwhelmed, I have my rainbow ability. So we killed McRib, he's just being a brat. And oh gosh, okay. There's an elite. We rainbow ability him. Nice, now we have this elite. So this, okay, this is really, really hard. Rainbow. There we go, is that it? Nice. Take 549 damage, increase max HP by 150. Now that was risky there, but spells cast while at max MP deal an additional 25% damage or after taking damage, you're invincible. <sighs> yeah, I'll take that. We're gonna lose like 20 HP or something. Lost 39 max HP, okay. Hey, yeah, glad you're, glad you're able to be here. Okay, we may die, so we gotta be really careful. Once again, like, we're being really, we're doing really spicy things here by increasing our max HP as high as we are. I'm almost really tempted to go back to the castle. Okay, we don't wanna fight this boss. Even though this boss may be easier than the other boss. Like, boss one. Okay, we need health. We did not get any health. Give me health. Give me health. Okay, that was a little bit of health. That was like 200 health. There we go, 300 health, okay. Now these guys are gonna do a buttload of damage to us now that we're in a new area. But as long as we can just slowly recover our HP here, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be having a good time here. Okay, what, oh, oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, rainbow ability. 130. Oh my god, am I about to die to this guy? Jeez. I, I should have just avoided. I shouldn't be fighting elites if I don't have the health to take damage to him. I mean, it worked out there, but we took so much damage. Okay, I missed all my shots there. We gotta try it again. I'm waiting for some skeletons to show up and just ruin the build, ruin us. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, rainbow. Nice. Nice. The second we go, because we fully heal 
when we um when we fight a boss so like you know this will be really good when we do eventually fight the boss oh my gosh it's tempting take 583 damage increase our max hp um we don't have the hp to use that so i'm gonna save it we can use it as a heal if we really need um they're starting to cost a lot of max hp oh there's a zombie They're starting to cost a lot of HP, but they're obviously, it's always worth it. Okay, whatever. Dang it. Okay, whatever, there we go, there we go, there we go. Hey, thanks for the, uh, for the two months. Didn't realize first month is older. Over already, time flies, especially if you have fun. Aw, I appreciate it. You guys have been awesome today. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm glad you've been enjoying the content. Okay. So, oh, okay. So yeah, I really, 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 oh, okay. It's obviously not gonna hit that one. I really, really, really want to be able to take that other tree and keep increasing our uh, HP here. But we just gotta we gotta get to that point though. We need to we need to just consistently heal. This weapon is really good at um allowing us to hit people from far away though. Now there's a 69 in our gold number. Wait, there's another secret right here. What? Look, it's like a little room for little for little people. If we were like the the um the the, the dwarf perk or whatever. Unfortunately, we can't get that. Those secrets are so funny. Okay, I don't... I actually want to go this way right now. Yeah, it's one of my favorite parts. I really like our leaf designs, the Monstera leaves. There's some really cool leaf designs once you get... Uh, once you've been subscribed for a while. We got some, like, rainbow ones, some galaxy ones. I remember posting them on the uh, our Discord a long time ago. Oh, yeah, those guys do a buttload of damage. I need to remember to use my iframes more. I think I keep forgetting. And we're getting to the point where we could hit that tree. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just going to rainbow. It hit both of them. Good, 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 good. Yeah, Brian's got the galaxy one. That galaxy one's really cool. Okay, this is a long... Hallway. That, that's a bit concerning, actually. What is in a long hallway protecting a gold chest? Okay, a lot of these things. A lot of those guys. Nice. One of that gold here. Monstera pattern. Or maybe it's underwater? I don't know. I think I've named it Galaxy, but that doesn't mean that's what it has to be. <laughs> Yeah, Twitch, Twitch uh, makes them real small, obviously. Some, some, something's gonna happen up here. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and this is very risky, but we're gonna go ahead and take that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take that uh, tree here. Oh, wait, maybe I'm thinking of another one. There's, like, another galaxy one. Never mind. I lied to you guys. There's a different galaxy one, I believe. Okay, but either way, 583 damage. So we're at 221. We have over 2,000 max HP, though. We just we got to be really careful, though. So I'm going to go back to where I was. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of the, the other one. Okay, the more we kill, we're just healing 10 HP every time we do. Oh, there's a wolf. Oh! Jeez, that gave me a heart attack. See, I think the only... 
pro oh gosh the only problem I think with this is like the ranger oh my gosh okay there's, there's a wolf right here the ranger has a way to create platforms in midair right we don't so it's kind of something we're having to figure out for every point of resolve below 125% we deal an extra bonus damage you know what let's go ahead and take that we're gonna lose a crap ton of max HP but whatever whatever we're gonna lose probably about 400 max HP <laughs> we just lost 640 percent or 640 max hp for taking that relic the game really does not want you taking relics uh and making your resolve limit in the top left lower than um 100 there's a challenge room which i do not think i can take but we do so much damage now now we actually do enough damage you know, I mean, we haven't been full HP forever, so it's going to make the boss fight harder, but look how much damage we're doing now. We're doing way more damage, so I think that was worth it. I think that relic also got buffed, because it, it, before, I'm pretty sure, it used to be a uh, resolve amount below 100%, so you had to lower your max HP. Now it's below 125, so I think it's a lot better than it was. The game's been a love story. What do you mean by that? Like, we love the game? That's what you're talking about. I definitely do. This is probably, excuse me, my favorite roguelike that has come out this year. I'm, I'm already, I'm starting to put together my, my lists for my top 10 games of the year and my top 10, um, my top 10, okay, we're just gonna rainbow. Oh my gosh, I wish I had more people. Uh, my top 10 games of the year. Oh my gosh, and my top 10 roguelikes of the year. And I think that this is going to be my number one roguelike. Bias towards Peglin? Well, Peglin won't be on either of those lists. Uh, because I only include games that have come out that year. So I don't include early access games. So Peglin actually will not be on that list. Or either of my lists. Oh, he's found an upgrade for the drowned chest. Okay, as we open up chests here in the harder areas, we're going to start finding upgrades that we can actually start making for our armor. So instead of just doing the perk upgrades, we can um, actually upgrade our armor. Okay, what's up here? Okay, yeah, we we cannot. We would literally lose like a thousand max HP if we took that. So unfortunately, we can't. We really can't take any more relics. But that's okay. Oh, oh, oh my. There's a, there's a lot going on right here. Whew. Thought we were about to die in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll remember, but I could maybe give you a hint. You need to open bosses. Even if the relic costs you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's not what we're trying to do right now, but I, I, I know what you mean, yeah. Like, in this area or in the other ones. Yeah, I think we've actually already done that in this area, even though we had we weren't, we haven't fought this boss yet. Hey. It's rain and gold. Oh, there's a chest over there. I think we can get that. Easy. We're at 56,000 gold right now. Dude, this is this is an insane run. Um, okay. Okay, we're going to we're going to just rainbow there. And then they're all dead. Easy as that. Oh, oh, you are a sneaky, sneaky man. Or fire thing. Dude, yeah, this is, this is a crazy run. 
Okay, so this is where this boss is. Obviously, we ain't messing with this boss. Sanguine helmet. Yeah, we're finding a lot of upgrades. Ooh, yeah, we're finding so many upgrades for gear. That may be what we do next time is just start upgrading our gear. Which, like, I still feel like there's a secret. Like a scar in this area, but I have I don't know though. I don't think I can look at my scars right now. Um because there's the quests, but insights resolved, yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not it. Unless there's something over here. Yeah, I said I said yeah, you can I said I may not know. But you can uh you can you can ask me. Trying to make it a hint if I know what you're talking about. Okay. There's another relic we're not going to be able to take. No more gold. All gold bonuses are converted into XP. Nah. Okay, there's some health. Okay, so this was where there was an Easter egg. Yeah, I just don't know what, what, what you're talking about. So there was that thing over there, but okay. So obviously nothing over here. The, the Easter egg plant that was there has been added to our uh, one of our buildings here. Oh, the somethings. Oh, literally somethings. I thought you just like were trying to mean as like. <laughs> I thought you like just weren't telling me what you were wanting a hint for. Like yeah, yeah. Could you tell me maybe where something is? And I was like yeah. What what do you, what is the something? <laughs> um. Well, they're in a lot of places. Um, I don't know. I found, I've, I have found them in, I'm trying to think how I would do it as a hint. I don't know. They're, they're in places where like the game gets kind of like, um, kind of creepy, you know, and, like spooky. Like anytime you think the game's getting really weird, a lot of times like that's, that's kind of where they are. Anytime there's like really something creepy, especially like later on in the game, like for our Amori playthrough, anytime we like, you know, we find like a barn and it's like real creepy. And then it's like, okay, the somethings are there or there's like, you know, something like that. Have I played Noida? Uh, I played Noida a little bit. I made a review back, uh, back, back in my game review days uh, for it. Uh, it's a pretty fun game. Very high IQ game though, obviously, um, for sure. Uh, it's a very, very high IQ game. Um, it's not like my favorite roguelike I've ever played, but it, I, I understand why. Like, Noida is the type of game, if it is your game, like if it's a game that you really like enjoy, it's it's the type of game you could probably spend hundreds of hours in, you know? High IQ that I don't have. <laughs> okay, lose no health, defeat all enemies. Okay, we can we can go ahead and try this here. <sighs> okay. Okay, so first of all, there's a rainbow. Um, yeah, this should not be too bad. We already killed half of them. There we go. Got the rune. Oh, we could get an additional double jump. We're getting a lot of runes. That's obviously a secret, but... It's not, it's like, I can't even see my curses here. <gasps> Which finding those runes doesn't like auto equip them or anything, just like the armor. It, uh, it would just allow, them, allow us to purchase them. And um, obviously we've already unlocked all of those, but you can actually get like duplicate runes. Oh my gosh, there's an Oreo. We have an Oreo. Oh my god, 174 damage. There we go. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Rainbow. The wolves are really scary sometimes. Okay. We're slowly getting back our max HP here. Or not max HP, but... Range looks pretty busted. Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Also, did we clear the entire of the snow area? We did. We cleared the entirety of the snow area. Um... I think it's 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 good for clearing out these waves. I'm, I've kind of figured out how to make it work, um, but 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 
Um, it's, uh, I don't know how good it's going to be against a boss, you know? But either way, we're going to the next area. So we've cleared three out of six areas so far here. So now we're on to the next area here. And then obviously, like, if, if we clear all the areas or if we think we're about to die, we're going to go try to fight boss one. But boss one, Lamech Prime, has been kicking our butt. This is a really good build. But once again, I, I don't know. I don't know how well... The Lamech Prime has two Lamechs, right? Or no, no, it doesn't. That's just one of the challenges. Okay, we're gonna do a rainbow thing here. We have not, oh gosh, been to this area in a long time. Also, this ranged weapon had like no damage, but we, um, we've gotten a bunch of relics that actually like got our damage back up, so. That's cool, we should learn game creation. You definitely should. I know things like, uh, I know a lot of people use, uh, what, Unity? I think. Or Game Maker. I've heard Unity is pretty good, but I know there's, like, some controversy about it recently, but in terms of, like, just raw game dev stuff, as far as I know, Unity is kind of cool. Oh, okay. Spicy, spicy traps here. Yeah, we're just going to find so many... Oh, dude, we're going to be able to upgrade all... Like, I think we're using Drowned Helm right now for this one. Or Obsidian? I don't know. We're using something, but... We're going to be able to uh, to upgrade our gear very well here. Godot. I have not heard really anything about Godot, but I know that they're... I think Dome Keeper was made from Godot, so... <gasps> Oh my gosh, we can get the... You know, remember when I said that we weren't the ranged character that can create his own platforms? Well, now we are. Screw the iframes, even though it's really good. Now, boom. And we can shoot it. And it gives this thing spore burst. Oh, that's so good. That was that. That may allow us to beat the boss now. That may allow us to actually beat the boss. Look at this. Boom. I can get up here. And it does store spore burst. Oh, that's so good. Oh yeah, Brotato. I think it's Dome Keeper as well. But I don't actually remember. I don't know what Dome Keeper is made out of. That's a fake painting. It's gonna be a lot of fake paintings here. Ooh, a lot of damage there. Preston has been talking about getting me and him into Godot. Like, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the benefit of that over, say, uh, um, you know, Unity? Godot's similar to Game Maker. Oh, so it's more accessible. Gotcha, that makes sense. Yeah, the only thing I've really worked with was, uh, was Game Maker when I was younger. He hasn't said. He's just like, hey, learn a new coding thing. That makes sense. I remember me and Preston back when I was roommates with him. We talked all the time about getting into Unity and learning game dev together. And then we never did even like a step of it. Or maybe he, maybe. Oh, see, these are mimics. These are mimics here. Mimic crunches here. Get out of here, Mimic crunches. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you, Mimic crunch. I've never actually seen a Mimic Crunch before. That's the upgraded version of the Mimic. Oh, they, they crap out ghosts when they're about to die. I see how it is. Along with the fake coins. Game Maker Studio is so much cooler. Yeah. Godot's open source while Unity is paid. I could have sworn Unity was free. Maybe there's a paid version of Unity. But I could have sworn Unity was free. Maybe not open sort. Ah, it was a doom, doombus. We got fake paintings. We got fake chests all up in this area. Okay, here we go. Oh, also this block shots. There might be a paid version, but I'm, I'm, cause that was one of the good things about Unity, I remember. But it probably has a, it probably has like a license or something. If you actually want to make the game, I don't know. Unity is free for licenses that make under a certain amount. Okay, that makes sense. What's next? A fake enemy. <laughs> okay, destroy all targets, lose no health. Well, that's that's very doable here. There's a rainbow here. 
Give me my chest here. Gain bonus resolve. Now that's a cool one. Dude, this build is insane. This is the best run we've had in Rogue Legacy in a while. This is what I like about Rogue Legacy. Also, whoa, 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 this thing's flashing. Why is this thing flashing? Wait, is this implying there's like a secret here? Why is this flashing? Why is this flashing? Because we have all these scars that we've been trying to get to. I did my magic. It didn't seem to do anything. I wish I could look at what the curses were that I was supposed to do. But there's nowhere for me to look at what my curses are. But that is obviously flashing. And I don't understand why. Okay, what, what, what in the... Come on, Ricochet. Okay, got that. There we go. Dude, the ricochets here are so good. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Okay, I'm using my ma I'm wasting my magic to like uh, go around it, you know, but Oh! 305 damage. Obviously, you can dash through the purple stuff, but... Whew. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Oh, my! Excuse me? What a way to enter a room here. Jeez. We have lost so much HP. This area is pretty hard. I'm glad I... That wasn't, uh... A mimic, because I didn't even. Ch okay, that chest right there is a mimic, though. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh, this area is so hard. I don't think we've really been in this area before, and um. In New Game Plus 2. We have 74,000 gold, though. So even if we don't, like, really accomplish anything, you know, in terms of bosses, like, we will have gotten so much money here. Okay. Gotta go... Out of here and some food. That was that was a lot. I'll take it. Okay, so there's a mini boss here. We're not even gonna we're not gonna mess with the mini bosses here, obviously. How did I not kill you? Yep, not fighting a mini boss. No, thank you. We will do that when the time comes. Ah, I don't know why I shot that. Just lost 74 damage for nothing. Or health. Okay, nice. So this is the this is a really cool room. Okay. Um until purified, any hit taken is fatal. I don't think we could do that. I don't think we could take anything though if we didn't take that. Yeah, we're we're all we're all relicked out here. And then uh, I think one of these is the real one, but I think we've already. This is just lore. I just and I don't think there's any new lore here. Yeah, I don't. There's no 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 new lore here. So there is a tree though. Or we could take 563 damage and increase our max HP, so we're back over to 2,000 here. 
Oh, man. Okay, so very risky because we just put our... I mean, we could die to... We could die in one hit. We could literally die. Here's another um, mini boss that we will not be fighting. 101 HP every time we click one of those. Oh, dude, we got pizza. Healed 513 with the pizza. I don't know, man. We may be able to actually beat... What if we just beat every single boss? That would be that would be kind of cool. Not gonna lie. I don't think it's gonna happen. But not gonna lie. It'd be pretty cool. Like, I know... I, I'm pretty sure there was, like, a, a scar somewhere around here as well, but... I don't know. Getting so much food, actually. I'm gonna, like... Nah. Rainbow there, I don't know. Hey, man. Okay, this is where a boss is. We can't fight the boss, though, because we have another mini-bosses, nor do we even want to. We are just here to find all of the buffs that we can and get through everything get as much money as possible here so we're we sim oh geez seems like we've almost cleared this area and then we'd be going on to the next area oh there was still an enemy still some enemies down here nice get out of here okay we could uh we could replace our normal thing with a random normal bow which once again may be better actually i don't even know i don't know i feel like i could now that i've learned how to ricochet with this i feel like we may be able to actually beat the boss for the first time on new game plus two here i mean we've just added so much damage to this as well um let's see uh, and it's hard to say. Uh, I don't really, like, I don't know them off the top of my head. It's just things that people have added, you know? Okay, we're gonna... Oh, rip, 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 rip. Okay, rainbow. That hit both of them. Oh, jeez. There is a there is a, a chicken there, though. He's, he's still up there. Where is he at? There you go. Oh, it was a mimic. It was a mimic. It was a mimic. It was a mimic. I need to be using that more, too. Oh, I keep forgetting about the mimics. Torch it. Are you okay? Hey, sensual sausage. Thanks for following. Oh, rip, 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 rip. We're taking, we're taking dumb damage right now. Okay, here's what we need to do. Boom! See? And now we can safely use that. I need to use that. I've been talking about how good that was that we got it, and then I'm not even using it. Dude, yeah, now I'm understanding how good, like, having something that's doing piercing damage is. This is so good. Okay, yeah, remember how to do this. But I don't know what this does here. Come from YouTube, love your content, keep up the great work, bro. Hey, appreciate it. Really, really do. It's always awesome seeing you guys find us on uh, here on Twitch. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Rainbow, whatever. I ain't dealing with y'all. I ain't dealing with y'all. Like, I'm pretty sure one of the scars was for this library area. I just, like, obviously have no clue where it may be. <laughs> I'm too far away. <laughs> He's not gonna hit me. Get out of here, nerd. Okay. Oh, okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be spicy. This is gonna be spicy here. So we're just gonna rainbow. Oh, there was a painting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what a room. What a room. 
still, what a room. This guy won't die. There we go. Okay. Found you because you wanted. Wa I wanted to know what upgun was, and I watched your video. Oh yeah, we got a lot of upgun videos. I still want to do more upgun at some point in time. Just hasn't really. Uh, stars haven't aligned. Okay, rainbow. And just a bunch of. Oh my gosh, this weapon's crazy. This weapon is insane. Also, this is just gonna be a giant Rogue Legacy video because of how good this run is. This run is so good. We've been we've been in this single run. Is there even a way to see how long we've been in this run? I don't think so. It's probably been about an hour and a an hour, like fifteen or something. What is that enemy name? Slug. <laughs> yeah. So uh, any enemy, um, there's like multiple versions of each enemy, right? And uh, one of the ways that um, we made New Game Plus 2 harder, because uh, you kind of get to decide, um, is we made it where there's an increased chance for every enemy to be, like, the upgraded version. And it just happens to be that, like, oh, God. Oh, see? Look. Stop projectiles as well. Um, the upgraded version of uh, Slug is just Slug. So, uh, yeah. The, the, the naming... Of uh, the character or of the enemy of the enemies are really clever. Also, we have cleared the entire so we've cleared the entire first area, the second area, the third area, and now the fourth area. Uh, so now we're gonna go to the um, now we're gonna go to the fifth area. We're gonna just try to literally clear as many areas as I can. That is one thing that I really like about the new update. Um, is um. They really did, uh, they, like, they specifically made a bunch of changes that, like, promote doing long runs, you know, which is kind of what I liked about Rogue Legacy, right? Was doing these huge runs, clearing through all the areas, you know, um, and, um, you know, doing, getting, oh my, oh my gosh, um, you know, getting some cool builds. So, like, that's, as an example, one of the ways, you know, with those, uh, challenges, right? The challenges are a lot harder, but they always guarantee a tree right and trees are a way to increase your max hp so if you take your time and you go through every single area um you're gonna you're gonna end up with um you're gonna end up with um you know more hp than you normally would pre-update you know and i think that's really freaking cool now i don't know oh my gosh i don't know how well this area is gonna go like just like the fourth area i have not been in this area at all in new game plus um, two. So, this is gonna be kind of interesting here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and rainbow there. That's gonna hit both. That's uh, gonna hit three people. That's gonna do a buttload of damage. I think this weapon's just amazing. And now that we have the Rangers, uh, canopy thing there. Oh my gosh. We want to make sure we're going through all the areas here. So, what's down here? Got a room. Oh. You might not be stronger than the estuaries, but you have something they don't. Another chance. Oh, he's always here, actually. That's actually the final boss of the game. This guy right... Or no, this guy right here is the second to final boss in the game. But obviously, there's just a lore room here. You can play up gun with. Hey, I don't know if, uh, if you are in our Discord. Um, I don't think people have been playing up gun for a while, but... We do have a um, an upgun. Oh, we do have an upgun. Um, okay, so I think I'm supposed to check out the left first. I'm gonna check out the left first. Um, we have a whole roll that you can give yourselves um, uh, called up for upgun, um, and you can like ping it in the shooter channel, and uh, maybe potentially find some people that uh, you know want to play upgun. But I don't know. People haven't been playing upgun as much lately. I mean, just like we haven't, but. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to go to the right because it seems like the left area is what we want to. Dude, Rogue Legacy music is so good too. Oh my gosh. Okay, rainbow. Oh, I don't have I don't have mana for a rainbow. There we go. So appreciate you linking that. Um, okay, let's go check in. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the top here. There's a gold chest up there. We are almost at 100,000 gold. 
We are almost at a hundred thousand freaking gold here. In one run. I think that's the most gold we'll probably have ever gotten in a run. Oh, hello. Oh, I lost all that money. Whatever. Yeah, because we have this Ranger Vine thing, I think we may actually be able to beat uh, the boss. I mean, there's a chance we beat every single boss. In the well, probably not. But, I mean, it's like a, it's a somewhat possibility. Because say we end up actually, say we go through all the areas and we actually are able to um, beat Lamesh Prime. Well, then we can just see, oh, well, can we beat the second boss? Can we beat the third boss? You know, we can kind of just keep, keep seeing. Okay. Oh my gosh. These guys do so much damage. Okay. Got that chest. We are at almost 100k. We're almost there. I saw that other guy just didn't want to. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, this, this weapon is sick. I mean, this is the. We, we're doing better with this than we did with any of the other um, new weapons, you know? So. What does this lead us to? Right there. Okay, let's go down here first. Oof. Oh my gosh, bit claustrophobic. We're also kind of running out of health here a little bit. That guy is, is rude wood. Oh my gosh. Ever played Town of Salem? I have, believe it or not. Um, when Town of Salem was still in early access, I went to a gaming convention called SGC as a literal child. And uh, I demoed Town of Salem. And um, I got a Town of Salem t-shirt that I used to wear all the time as a kid. And I played that game a lot. Uh, some of... Oh! Oh! He did 250! 250, 250 damage! Jeez! I didn't even see him. Um, okay, we're gonna rainbow here. Um, I, uh, oh, so stressful. Um, yeah, some of the first videos I actually ever released on my YouTube channel right here, believe it or not, were actually Town of Salem Let's Plays. They're all private right now on my channel, but once we hit 25,000 subscribers on YouTube, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, Sporber, save me! Oh my gosh, we are at 199 HP. I don't know if we can keep doing this here. But yeah, once we hit 25,000 subscribers on YouTube, we're going to, um... We're gonna, <laughs> un we're gonna make public all of those unlisted videos, and we're gonna, like, react to them live. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we may die here. No! I have 31 HP. Just get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Okay. Okay. We're done exploring, guys. The run is over. We are done exploring. It is now time for us to go fight Lamesh. Because Lamesh will fully heal us. Any boss fight will fully heal us. So we just need to get to the boss without dying. Um, that's, that's the goal. We're fighting the boss now. Run is over. Fun time is over. No more exploring. I ain't about to lose a run without fighting to the boss at least. It ain't about to happen. So we will teleport. We'll go see if we can fight the boss. Okay. So after an hour and a half run, or, you know, probably a little bit less than that. Hey, Sensual Sausage, thanks for the gifted sub. <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's see. If we if we win, then we can continue the run here. So we just gotta we just gotta be good. Whew, okay. So first of all, immediately get up here. Oh my gosh, dude. Rainbow. Okay, let me just
rainbow. Rainbow. Doing okay so far. Rainbow. He was literally on my thing. Rainbow. Oh my gosh, we may do it. Oh my gosh. Get away. Rainbow. Oh, that was so bad. Oh my God, that was so bad. Rainbow. Rainbow. Are we gonna finally, after 15 hours, beat the first boss here? Rainbow. of new game plus two we couldn't beat the boss oh my god get out of here oh let's go oh my dude i'm telling you this run we could go beat a bunch of bosses we may just go beat a bunch of bosses this run a torn banner of foreign kingdom flutters in the wind buried amongst the corpses and the crows in the distance lamesh stands tall on the mountain of bodies a monument of his success soldiers tattered and wound raise their blades to the sky as they shout his name across the valley i knew i always knew i ignored the reports and made false truths in my head i fooled myself into believing the rebellion would be smaller than it truly was i could have quashed the rebels in their homes destroyed whatever vestige of hope they had but i didn't this was never needed to happen i kept this knowledge to myself knowing the cost in truth i wanted to die gloriously one final hurrah to end my chapter i wanted to be free of this eternal prison guarding a tree that will never sprout but there was no death for me and no glory and now there is no one left to fight the doors to Lamesh's throne burst open as a wave of rebels surge into the room. For everyone that falls to his blade, another two replace them. The fighting lasts for hours and then for days. Eventually, there are no more foes to fight, and Lamesh stands tall on a pile of bodies. The room is silent. Thank you for putting Estuary Lamesh to rest. Regardless of what he's done, he deserved a warrior's death. Oh. And so the reason that he was so hard was because the other thing that we did to make New Game Plus 2 harder was specifically to make Boss 1 harder. Uh, in New Game Plus 1, uh, we made one of the other bosses harder. But holy cow. So now what we can do... You know what I say we do? Let's just go kill all the bosses here. Let's go kill all the bosses. Whew. So now we're going to fight this one, which I think this is a harder version too. But I think we're going to counter this boss here. Whoa! Oh yeah, yeah, this was the... So this is the other hard one that we've done. Or wait, whoa. Oh, that's blocking projectiles. Whoa, whoa! I don't remember this boss at all for some reason. Uh, I thought I had rainbow. Now I got a rainbow. Is another one gonna spawn? Yeah, there we go. I didn't hit anyone with that rainbow. But if I can pierce and hit both of them at the same time, that's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, this is so much easier. Maybe. 
Rainbow both of them. Rainbow both of them. Oh my gosh, every time I put down a platform, they cannonball it. Rainbow, everybody. It's spawning a crap ton of stuff here. It is just spawning everything. What is happening? Luckily, I pierced through everything, so we literally actually counter all of this. Oh my gosh. Or do we? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're just spawn- Oh my gosh. Okay, rainbow. What is happening? I do not remember this boss at all. Are we gonna die? Okay, we all, I think we almost did it. Oh, it's just this guy. Oh, oh, that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. Dude, I'm only winning because I got the... There we go, second boss. Second boss killed. <gasps> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. We've been bamboozled. We've been bamboozled. Shouldn't be too hard, though. I think we got it. We did it. Wow. Two bosses at once. Wow. Hey, I'm pizza. I just got an achievement called For Justice. Defeat the children of Estuary. I don't know. That was like a new boss. What? Insight resolve monster by the gates. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm well past my prime. Never would have stood a chance against those beats. You have my beasts. You have my thanks. Slowly lifted into position, my mass of cranes and pulleys, the Armada's flagship vessel, the preserver of life, floats precariously above a massive black pit. Atop the quarter deck, Estuary Mahal looks proudly upon his crew as they prepare the ship for its descent into the Stygian waters. Above the mass, white stone chains groan as they slowly begin to lower the ship. The noise is deafening, and the reverberations threaten to tear the ship in half, but Mahuliel's crew remains stoic. He promised the ship would hold, and his words are their trust. In the dark, the once pristine decks of the Preserver of Life are awash in the black of, and blackened blood of the monstrous void beasts. Their numbers seem endless as more and more of them emerge from the Stygian waters. Visible only through the flash of cannon fire, a giant tentacle from the Stygian Kraken crashes down onto the wooden deck, sending Mahal and his crewmen flying through the air. For a moment, he is weightless. Then he feels the icy sting of the Stygian waters. Deadly to the touch, the Stygian waters threaten to drag him further under as every drop pulls on his soul. In the distance, first mate Boreath uh, barks orders at his men and ropes are hurled into the waters in an effort to save those flung overboard. Struggling against the waves and flots him, Mahul grasps one of the ropes, then looks back at his flailing men. He knows the ropes won't help. The sailors are too far out and too weak from the touch of the Stygian waters to save themselves. One after another, the silhouettes of his men sink under the waves. With one last prayer spoken before taking a breath, Mahul releases his rope and dives into the brackish waters to save those he can. 
The sun from the tower shines brightly upon the shipyard in the Karuglian Plateau, and the Preserver of Life is slowly dismantled. It has been many years since a Void Beast has emerged from these waters, and the materials within these ships are better used elsewhere. Under Namai's guidance, the ship's hull and nails will build new homes and its sails new clothing. In the offices above, Estraria Mahul accepts to offer to take ownership of Nibiru Deep Mines, though hardly a glamorous position, it was the only way to keep his crew together. After his proposal is approved, he offers his crew the choice to stay above and continue their lives in the sun, but none will abandon their captain. As the centuries pass, the Nibiru Deep Mines transform into their own bustling world. Separated from the other estuaries, a new underground culture flourishes, a society built upon equality and respect. Shouting and commotion fill the tunnels as a small stream of Stygian water trickles down the passageways. Mahul barely has time to think before the trickle becomes a torrent. He quickly guides his people toward the Atlantis Spire, a massive ventilation shaft that travels to the top of the mine. If the other exits are flooded, there's no way to escape. The vent is narrow and dark as night, but his people have no recourse but to scale its walls. Those that lose their strength fall to the rising waters. Mihul carries as many exhausted men as he can on his back, but not everyone can be saved. After climbing for an eternity, he finally breaches the surface. Half a dozen people cling to his back, and he barely manages to pull himself up before giving into exhaustion. A storm rages on the surface, obscuring his vision. The wind breaks just long enough to see that Nibiru Deep is no more. The water has risen to such a level that the land surrounding the mine is now completely flooded. Only the very tip of Atlantis' vent is still visible. With little strength remaining and no concern for what's to come, Yuhul produces a knife. Take from me a piece of my flesh, become my child, and survive this night. The memory is split and largely incoherent. A thousand different images and emotions assault your mind. You see people swimming across the Stygian waters towards the glowing light of the sun tower. You see the relief in their eyes for having made the journey, but feel an undercurrent of fear. Becoming an estuary of an estuary is a sacrilege, and there will be repercussions. An unspoken pact of silence is the common thread uniting a hundred different voices spread across a hundred different lives. The memories are just a jumble as their hosts wander aimlessly, but eventually they all coalesce upon Axis Mundi. The children of Mihul are together once more, hiding in the shadowed recesses of buildings populating the bridge. The unnerving silence is broken by the sound of a single horn. Its low groan emanates from the Citadel Agartha. With a single nod, the children of Mihul gather their weapons. They emerge from the shadows and begin their assault of this Citadel. So I got 5% more damage versus the Immortal King. So, first of all, this boss was entirely new. And I was not expecting that. That was also a ton of lore that uh, I was not expecting. I still don't fully understand how to piece it together. Um, but screw it. On to boss three now. I'm telling you, we're going we're to just kill as many bosses as we can. We spent 15 hours on New Game Plus not being able to kill even the first boss. And I'm, 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 I'm ready for some dang revenge here. Now, this should be easy here. Because I don't think there's anything hard about this one. This isn't like a harder version or anything. And in fact, as our uh, pirate, we uh, we actually fought this boss early on. Uh, a harder version of this boss, I think. So I, I, I don't think I'm going to have any problems with this one here. We actually have not taken any damage yet. Dude, what if we were just able to beat the entirety of New Game Plus 2? Oh, that wasn't, the, that wasn't the right play. Well, there's our damage. So now, now we have these things that are going to shoot us if we, uh, oh yeah, please go down there where things will bounce a million times on you. We just got to stop these so they'll, they won't attack us when that we, we attack. Rainbow. Okay. Yeah, we got to, we can see we got to stop that. Ooh. Thought we had mana. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, there we go. We should be able to kill it right here. Ah, rainbow, whatever. 
And there we go. Boss three done. I cannot believe this run. I cannot believe this run. Woo! That's boss three. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're also, we have gotten enough out of game currency to unlock another class. So next time we play, we're going to be able to play as one of the new classes as well. Well, there's three bosses. So now we need to go fight. Um, now we got to go fight the two mini bosses and then the final boss in um, this area, the Stygian study. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, crap. Crap. I forgot this doesn't heal you. This isn't an actual boss. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Just trying to get one of them here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got one of them, so that should make this a lot easier. Boat. I'm gonna go over you. There's that mini boss dead. Now the question is, do I go do another mini boss? Because I'm not gonna heal, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, dude, this is the most OP run we've done ever, I think. This is a freaking experience right now. Um, I say, I, th uh, I don't know if I should try to find healing or not. Whatever. I think we can beat it and it may, it may, that may kill us, but I don't know where else we're going to find healing. So, cause none of these will get healing. How many bosses are there? Uh, technically six. Like, it's like technically, it depends. Like six on the door, but then you have like a final boss and you have mini bosses and, you know, so it's kind of, the waters are a little bit muddied, you know? Um, you know what? Ah, eh, whatever. We, we got this. Actually, wait. Oh, wait, there could be health. There could be health here. We definitely need to check on that. Any health that we could get here. Even if we get like one. Or is this just going to be like a platforming challenge, actually? No, I think this is like a boss. We unfortunately have... Come on. No health. Okay, we didn't find any health. chest up here. Uh-oh. That was 171 damage for me messing around looking for a chest. Oh my gosh. Okay, there, there was some food. Heal up the mistake I made. Okay, there's some more food. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, this should be easy though. And we got it. Okay, so that's 
technically fought three bosses and two mini bosses so far. Now we're gonna go fight the fourth boss. Whew. We had 131,000 gold. Okay, and we will fully heal on this one. Mini bosses, you just don't heal. Okay, here we go. Boss four. Now, this guy has a second phase, so we got to keep that in mind. Woo! Doing a lot of damage there, my friend. Everything I can to make sure I'm doing like ricochet. Yeah, never mind. I think this is actually a decent weapon for the boss, but the fact that I have the um, this thing helps a lot. I can't believe I let that hurt me. Keep in mind, this is just phase one. I don't know what he's doing. Oh my gosh. There we go. So here we go. Oh. Okay, so it's going to give us a fake chest. And the chest is going to be a mimic. Surprise, surprise. And fake health potions there. And I think he's already almost dead here. And he's dead. Four bosses beat in one run. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are we actually going to just beat every single boss in a single run here? Cause this is absurd. This is absurd. Four bosses plus too many bosses beaten so far. That's gonna be a movie length episode. Holy cow. His head was always in the clouds trying to solve problems that didn't need to be solved. If he had just looked down a little sooner, things might have been different. Hey, Core Dizzy, thanks for following. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So now we're gonna go back to the area five, which we hadn't actually completed area five. So we're gonna have to complete area five. Oh my gosh, this is insane though. So now we're back to kind of exploring. We need to finish this area and then we can fight the boss. Uh, this boss is very hard. Um, but I think our kind of build that we have will, will help for sure. Let's go. We just need to go up. We just need to go up. Yeah, the amount of max HP we have is really nice. That's why doing these long runs is good. Still that one guy over there. Oh my gosh. This game just brings me so much pure joy. Okay, so this is where we were before we had abandoned. Remember? Remember when we almost died? We had three HP or something left, and I was like, nope, it's time to go fight the bosses. It paid off. This is boss genocide. <laughs> Really is. Really is.
Oh my gosh, dude. That spore burst is so... Oh yeah, that thing does like so much damage. We are at 140,000. 140,000. Uh, gold. That's crazy. Okay, what are we looking at here? Okay, we just need to climb. There's a chest. There's a room. I think we're nearing the top here. And then we'll have an entire other area to go underground. And then that, that has many bosses as well. But I'm fine, dude. If we, if we do a three-hour video of us beating every single boss at New Game Plus 2, man, I'm okay with that. Oh, we took a bunch of damage there. Okay, rainbow. Yeah, give me a, that was a good rainbow there, I think. There's a lot going on here. What is happening? This music is so good, too. Okay, we're going to try to get some ricochet stuff here. There we go. Got that one. Oops. This thing's going to do, like, a billion damage to us. Okay, cool. Got that. Whew. So I think this is it. Nope. These guys just don't have knockback. And that's what's scary about those guys. Random. Nope. Not randomizing nothing. Not losing any of my HP either. The chest over there. Okay. 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 Let's not, let's not lose here. Let's not lose to freaking Mr. McRib right over here. Okay, 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 okay. We're just running. We're running. 264. I just need to get to the boss store. I'm gonna miss like every single shot there. Also, how is there still more? It's a big room. I guess one of the things that we did in New Game Plus 1 was we made all of the uh, floors bigger, so. Okay, just. Oh, okay. He, he flies through stuff. He does. Boo Bat does whatever Boo Bat wants to do, apparently. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. I am about to die here. But, I mean, we have to go here. Like, there's nowhere else we could really mess around with, you know? I don't even know. Do I care about the chests? I honestly think I don't care about the chests. Just get me to the boss, you know what I mean? Just get me to the boss. I'm just skipping all of this to try to find the boss. Because the boss will fully heal us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We are going to die. Nope, there it is. There it is. Our run has come to an end, and with that, I'm okay. We made so much progress, I ain't even mad. Like, ideally, yeah, wish we could have beaten every single boss in a single run. But, like, that was such a good run. This is this is all, everything that we did. All the enemies that we killed. Oh my freaking gosh. So we killed four bosses plus two mini bosses. Wow. That is crazy. Also, there's a special antique. What is this? I don't know. Uh, well, first of all, standing still. Oh, we get to be invisible if we stand still? That's interesting. Okay, so first of all... Um... I want to go ahead and upgrade and buy all of the armor. I think that's what is going to be the best use, maybe. Ken is about... Which one is the one about... Okay, we've been using obsidian, right? Hmm. You know what? Oh, okay, no, wait. Ken cape is... Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just buy everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy everything that we can. So let's buy the Leviathan trinket. Um, anything that's new we're gonna buy. 
buy, buy. It's gonna probably be like all of our money. Okay, we got bottlenecked on uh, the armor. Um. Okay, so we spent all of the um, kind of, I don't know, blacksmith materials. Um, okay, what do we want to upgrade here? We got a bunch more runes, too, from that run. We could upgrade our rune. Um, let's see, how much rune slot? So we, we have 532. We could theoretically try to get some cool new runes. Like, maybe another, another double jump would be insane, actually. If we had another double jump... Bonus resolve would be good as well. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and buy more um, rune weight. Yeah, so we're gonna buy more rune weight, buy more rune weight, buy more rune weight. So we increased our rune weight a little bit here. So now, if I want another double jump, can I have another double jump? I mean, we already have one, two, three, one, two, three. We have three jumps. But four jumps would obviously be kind of insane. But there's other stuff that we could do as well. Um, bonus resolve is actually... Actually, bonus resolve. Let's let's do that. So we bought that. We have that equipped. So we have 10% bonus resolve, meaning we get to have more of the relics. I don't care about getting more ore either. I'll get those eventually. Gold, I'll get more of that eventually. Actually, I have one of them on. Uh, magnet... Um, mana potions restore percentage. We have max of those. Increase armor's block max cap. Yeah, let's go ahead and maybe get another one. Oh no, increase total armor. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and upgrade. Well, yeah, let's get more armor. Actually, you know what? Okay, we don't need more money. We don't need more money. Let's just give me more armor. So everybody, so I have plus plus three of those. Yeah, resolve. I'm glad we got the res more resolve. So, I don't care about mana when we spin kick. Duration of status effects is pretty good. So, okay. So, now we need to go buy more uh, rune weight. So, I'm going to go one, two more rune weight. We have 37,000 more gold. We have been able to buy so much crap here. Um, armor block cap is pretty cool, even though I don't really know what it does. I have max lifesteal rune. Magic crit chance, weapon crit damage, magic crit damage. Skill crits have a chance to become super crits. Increase final damage. I don't really care about that. Restore more mana per hit. Restoring more mana per hit would honestly be kind of cool. Um, but honestly, I think just being tanky, right? But also increasing the duration of status effects could be another really good one. And the double jump could be another good one. But I'm going to go ahead and increase armor's max block cap. So we have that. We could do another one. So we need, we need more armor... Um, rune weight. So one, two. That's probably all of our money. We only have 1,300. So we can put a rune that we already own, but actually, no, yeah. These runes are really affordable, I think. It's just, uh... Wait, which was the one that I was wanting? Oh, I can't afford that one anymore. Yeah, I can't afford that one anymore. But be, yeah, being tanky in this game is really good, in my opinion. And having all the max lifesteal. So we have more weight, so we might as well just buy something. Um, increase movement speed. I do not care about that. Magic crit chance, weapon crit damage. I'll go ahead and just do... Oh, I bought it, but I... Oops. I couldn't... Okay. I'll buy things, even though I don't want them. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and say... What's something I could put on? I could do... Okay, we'll do weapon... No, I can't do weapon crit damage. Okay, nope, can't do restore more mana per hit. We're, like, just barely away. Increased mana capacity is really good. Duration of status effects. Um... Mm, the, the one that gives magnet range is kind of funny, but I said you obviously don't need it. Um... Ah, screw it. I'll just put the bounty rune back on here. I'll put the bounty rune back on. Uh, Siphon, I don't have enough. I would need... Um, I kind of am interested in that one. But I would have to take something off. Like, I would have to take something else off. Because it cost... 
I would need I would need ten more, so I'd have to take something off. So I think I want to just do gold, and then eventually we'll, you know, we'll we'll build that up. We'll build that up. But holy cow! Either way, either way. Also, something I want to point out here as well is um, we now. Wait, have I never did this challenge with the uh, mage? Okay, well let, let's just do this. We're it's already a long video, so we might as well, right? We already might as well try to do this challenge just so we can, um, 10% of incoming damage is absorbed by your mana, sure. Uh, we might as well try to do this to earn more currency just so we can really get a bunch of, um, you know, all of the cool stuff here. Hitting enemy, generate an aura, cool, cool, cool. I'm just doing this challenge that we did at the beginning with our poison pirate. Because we haven't done it with the mage. Every time you cast a talent or spell, fire some bolts. Okay, sure. We're gonna just do this real fast here. And then, because, yeah, we want to do this with every single class. But I'm not. Oh, my God, we already almost killed him. Oh, my God. Should we doing a lot of damage here. I should have been using my main ability. That would have helped things. Got him. Oh my gosh. And there we go. So hopefully we did better than the pirate with C++. Maybe like B? B or A? We did it in under a minute. B! Let's go. So see, all that does is that increases the uh, score on this. So we're getting closer to uh, getting silver. Um, and then that will get us more of the currency, which next time we play, which I'm definitely going to, because now that we're actually relatively close to, uh, you know, beating, um, uh, new game plus two, you know, uh, so next time we play, we're going to be able to afford either the rock star or the shadow spy or the eldritch lich. Uh, so definitely let me know, uh, you know, which of those classes you potentially want to see in the future, but either way. Uh, uh, this freaking amazing run. Some of the most hype uh, freaking Rogue Legacy uh, I think we've had in a long, long time. I freaking love this game. Um, so if you guys uh, are, uh, you know, uh, want to see more, let me know who you want to see. If you're watching on YouTube still at this point, appreciate you. You're a freaking trooper getting through an <laughs> over two-hour video. Um, so really, really appreciate you guys. You know, make sure you guys subscribe. Ring that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified uh, when more Rogue Legacy 2 videos come out. If there are some, They'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are going to be grinding out some Rogue Legacy 2 on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.